another uh, bad result in a game which arguably we needed to we needed to get three points and uh, we've just not showed up, have we? good enough, mate. It's as simple as that. Um, no fate. No leaders. Sol Bauer seemed like the only lad that seemed bothered and Simo as when he came on. Um, he made subs too late. Nil-nil. Start at second half. They were on top. Should have met him at nil-nil. He's waited and he's waited and his stubbornness has cost us game. I said, I said me at half time that at least Ben Williams or Rich Meyer were off. Yeah, one of them, one of them had to go off at half time. I'd have made three at half time. That's me personally because I thought we were all a shower of shite. Yeah. Played well over probably five minute period, but we didn't, we didn't want it enough. Didn't want it enough. What did we say on Thursday? What Cardiff are good at? Yeah. Being physical, ball in air, making it scrappy. Yeah. What did we do? Played into their game yeah. plan. Exactly. exactly like we warned. Yeah. Do they not look through analysis of what they're good at? Do they not look through before well, a game? Yeah, this is what Cardiff are good at. So what we'll do is we'll play into their fucking game plan. Yeah, but the thing is, I saw a quote from Struber saying how good they are. It's all action though. It's all words though, isn't it? Murphy on, Murphy on in week. We're going to do this. They don't do it. Struber, we're going to do this. They don't do it. Chaplin, we're going to do this. They don't yeah. do it. I want fucking action. Words are nothing now. Nah. Words are nothing. You've lost me. Yeah. I'm going to go to the end of the season to support lads through and then I'm done. I've had enough of it now. I'll go end of the season to support fans that come with me, support the club as a whole, because this football club will last after these fuckers fuck off. Yeah. I know people are going to say, who's going to come in? But I'm telling you now, this club, people are going to say, well, at least we're not Bolton or Berry. <laughs> Get five here. Does it, is it a coincidence that all three teams that they own are going down in relegation zone? We're 24 look at that, there's yeah. not to be prouder. Yeah. There's not to be prouder. Murphy's delusional. And it, it, for all we know, Murphy could be reading off a script. Yeah, he's poster boy. He, he's not the big. He's not the issue. You know, like Steve said, it should have been James crying that's hiding in that's hiding away, and Conway that we're making these signings in summer. That's, that's accountable. They're going to ask Dave Murphy these questions on t on Tuesday night, and he he got asked questions on radio, and he said he, he he's not in, he can't answer them. He's not it's not it. not oh, no because no it weren't that it's because he said he's not authorized. A bit of bollocks. I paid 28 quid for next week. Only reason I'm going is because I've already paid for a train ticket. <laughs> well, let, let's go back on to, I mean, nothing on, no shots on target, no created, a carbon copy of last, well, I suppose last week, last week we had a few chances last week. I'm saying, we could have been 1-1 at half time last week. We were a lot better last week than this week and we were shite last week, so what we've been like this week. And results really have not been too bad for us. But we, we but out, we, we can't even sort things out for a cent. We aren't relying on other teams. We've got to focus on us. And they bottled it. They looked nervous ten, first 10, 15 minutes for me. They looked nervous at back. We were rushing ball, or then we were, we were dawdling too long on ball. There were no composure. Nobody wanted to take an hold on game. Ritz Myers pinched 90, but at the end I felt sorry for him. He should have come, come up half time. He had a shocker at Reading. He's had a shocker today. He were our marquee signing in January. Our marquee fucking signing. The one that he went to Austria for and picked him. You're not telling me that Tom Carroll, who they refused to buy, Could is done any worse. Oh. There's more experience than in, that's played at an higher level. Or Tiam. Tiam, McGeehan, Wilkes. Same as Steve said, I echo exactly the same. We're shipping lads out that are better than lads that are starting. And Brown will go in summer, Mowat will, Chaplin, Woodrow. There's no reason why Mowat is signing a new contract. I wouldn't want to play with that shower of shite. They, they play like that coronavirus today, a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> they, were at, they were saying before the game, if you get any symptoms, report 1111. I would have fucking wanted to ring 111 during all fucking game. Because I were having symptoms watching that. And then it end the audacity to say, we hope you have a positive experience. Did you hear that of it, Tanoi? Yeah. Yeah, I is, did. Are they just rubbing it in or what? It's just, it's just fucking shite. I, it, it's sad to see. It's sad to see it and there's no atmosphere. It's like, they're not moon every fucking week at home. This used to be a place teams used to come to fear to play. And fans are just given up. We've given up. But there's been no to get us going, has no. there? I mean, oh, we've been on this we've little run. Week, look, I said to you and Steve before the game, we played like we lost three games at Reading. Yeah. There was no confidence at all. We were flat. They didn't want to play for him today. They didn't want to know. First time his subs have been booed. Brown going off Whoa. at 2 0. Is he picking it side? Oh, Dave Murphy says so. Well, he, he's going to say that, isn't he? Like I said to you, he, they shouldn't be having any influence in fucking team. 
And no wonder if managers have been turning it down previously, before Stendhal, before Struber. No wonder they're having to go to the continent. And in summer, we'll have to probably buy somebody again. Do you think Struber's going to manage in League One? So the one to keep him. Yeah, well, he's, he was never, he was never, he was never man for me. I'd have gone for Neil Warnock to lend it season. Wouldn't have got Warnock. Have a bit of ambition for fuck's sake. Wouldn't have got any Warnock. Wouldn't have come here. Well, have a bit. Of, Murphy's talking about Premier League in three years, right? <laughs> so that's that's more that's delusion. This is ambition. You want to stay in this league? Act like it. You it's want all to stay in this league. You signed some good yeah, players in, in, in players January. You get a manager that knows league. <laughs> I, don't, I just think game plan were wrong. I think starting 11 were wrong. But from last week, they haven't learned the lessons. They've been even worse. Psychologically, we're going out to QPR. We do awful there. Yeah. Well, I've, I've just said to um, Joel and Samantha, and I said it to Steve in Grand, that do you know when uh, Schmidt came on, Woodrow looked over and he shook his head. Which, when Chaplin went off, Woodrow shook his head at that substitution. Why, why, why are we not starting it like we said on Thursday? Start with Dougal, a combative midfielder, get Mowat further fall, get Woodrow up front, get Brown up right, and then put him up front for goal kicks. Win Eddie and then go back onto it right, get Simoas up left, play a bit of pace. When we were playing with pace in the first half, they hated it. For five minute period, we were going forward at him. But what we want to do is we get ball, there's no one taking responsibility, so we'll go sideways or we'll go back. Because there's nobody confident enough to go forward with ball. That three, that three games were just like a papering off at cracks, weren't it? Yeah. Let's be brutally honest, because it's back to the same old, same old. Yeah. Stendhal couldn't get a, get a tune out of him, Struber clearly can't. It's se seven points now this stage of the season. It's a lot now, isn't it's it? It's a lot. Consistent Nine games left. And then you're aligning other teams to fuck up as well. And, uh, and you know, we, we're going to go down with a whimper. We're going to go down with a whimper. Oh, we asked for it somewhere, we're just to, even if we went down this season, look, we'll just give us a chance. Yeah. Just give us a chance. Any man who came, comes in is going to find it hard, though, with players, yeah, players you know. that have been brought and in. Then, so that's long-term vision. Do you actually admit that you got it wrong? Or no, they, well, they, they didn't, did it? They're admitting it. They're still going to stick with data analysis well, you, thing. You'll, you know, there, there weren't 12,000 here today, might I add. Um, they weren't to end. They weren't, well, they were, <sighs> fans are not going to, you know... I'm already, I'm, I've already said, regardless whether staying up or not, because if we if we stay up this year, it'll be a fucking miracle. I'm not paying three hundred pound plus away days. You know, to you know, to, what do we get out of it? What are we getting out of this look at minute? Except, you know, I know it always can't oh, it always be rosy, but to this season, from the summer, we've just never, we've never had a look in, have we? And I've supported this club long enough. I know that it's there's hard times, there's good times, but come on. Eight wins, all, eight wins all season. Eight wins all season. It's just, we're going to go down with a whimper. Look at Rotherham last year, they were fighting till the end. And they've come back up, they've signed players proper. We're, people are saying we're like Rotherham, I think we're worse. Because <laughs> at least they sign players that, you know, they keep the players, they, they back the manager. Yeah. You get, know. get players, the right they know, players. They know, to, they, know, they know how to set up, we don't. We should have played Dougal. As soon as the team came out, Ben Williams and Rich Meyer on left hand side, both as full backs. We sold Cavari, he's better than anybody we've got at club, naturally. If you need somebody, an arm round shoulder, man management, this is when it comes into Struber and coaches to do their fucking job, what they're paid to do. Wilkes should have got more out of him, in my opinion. McGeehan is better. It's because of the vocal. Well, because they've got an opinion. Yeah. Well, that won't last two minutes, would I? <laughs> that's, what, that's what we need, some lads that say it as it is. There's too many soft fuckers in team. Well, that's why Pinios has gone, Cavari's yeah, yeah. gone. And that's why I like the TM. And that's why Moat and Woodrow are staying quiet. The last gauge and probably they'll probably be on phone to him now on the way home. I'm not fucking signing that contract. Why would he want to stay here? When he can go to a Blackburn or a Preston, play sustainable championship football, have a playoff push every two years, get a better rate, wage. Even if he's even if he signed a new contract look, we would only put up by a penny. Yeah. And then we'd say, well, fan experience, you get to go for a free burger to Redfern's after the game. Uh, little stuff like that. Get to all, get to all pet snakes in pre-season for an hour at one till two. These are little perks they'd be giving them. Not actually rewarding them. Wrong man. Wrong man for the job, I'm afraid. Voldemort. I'll support you till end, but Slytherin's not good enough for me. <laughs>